Good morning and welcome to the vast open space of the Maasai Mara, starting off with a herd of buffalo that have been scrutinizing us very carefully. My name is Jamie and this morning is Dave and hopefully this will not be our one and only segment as happened yesterday afternoon. Just so you know, I sat with the Angama Pride of Lions for two hours trying to show them to you, but unfortunately the gremlins had other ideas. This is the herd of buffalo that they were actually watching, I think. Not far away from here at all. And one thing I have noticed about the buffalo in the Mara is that they seem to scrutinize you more carefully than the ones in South Africa. The females have not stopped staring at us with their noses right up in the air so as to smell us. Ah, what a perfect opportunity. Uh, just a quick reminder, send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Yesterday I promised that I would tell you <laughs> the story of our adventure throughout the show and of course that didn't go according to plan at all because, well, we never came back once again. So the tale of the exciting story is somewhat diluted now that it's two days later. But essentially we went out all day, we went to the other side of the Mara River um, which is quite a trip. We had to leave quite early in the morning. It takes us about an hour and a half to get from our camp around and through Musiara Gate. And we travelled around and we travelled around thinking that Paka was running beautifully and then Paka stopped running beautifully. So we cleared out more water from the fuel filters and we somehow managed to get through the mud without getting stuck. But bear in mind the distances I'm talking about are 60, 70 kilometres. And we made it back towards the gate in time for the afternoon show. Oh, everybody lying down or are you having a scratch on your buddy? I think you're having a scratch. So we thought we were all sorted and we set up for the afternoon show. And that was, <laughs> that was the end of that. That was, we stopped moving. And that's not the end of the story. Just, just hold on one second. The end of the story was basically, to cut a long story short, we ended up spending the night at Little Governors. And the thing about Little Governors, thank goodness they rescued us. It was very, very kind of them. Um, but the thing about that is that it's on the other side of the river, and the only way to cross it is in a small boat. And it was in the rain and in the dark. A small boat across the Mara River felt a little bit like a wildebeest. Not as much, however, as Senzor did, poor Senzor, um, as we were crossing. He was an absolute trooper. And Brent said to him, Senzor, can you swim? And he looked at us and said, no, I can float, but not for very long. Fortunately, if we had fallen off, we would have been able to stand there. So not a concern about drowning. Minor concern about crocodiles and hippos. But all in all, uh, we sort of tucked up Pucker for the night, and the next morning we were towed by a tractor, only to realize that there was a lion hunting zebra next to us while we were being towed by a tractor. So that was the sort of the, the exciting tale. We left home yesterday at around about 6.30, we got back yesterday, no, we left home two days ago at 6.30. We got home yesterday at around about, oh, goodness. There we go, look, making more buffalo. She doesn't seem to be too impressed by the whole thing, though. And there we go. All over, and a future buffalo in the waiting. Nate, you would like to know what the difference is between a wildebeest and a buffalo. They're actually two completely separate species. Um, although they belong sort of together in the ruminant category, so they are all ruminants, they are completely separate family lines. A wildebeest is actually an antelope, not a, not a sort of a cow type animal. I'm not saying that buffalo are cows. They're not particularly closely related to cows, but they are more closely related to cows than wildebeest are. So, a wildebeest is an antelope. It is much, much smaller than a buffalo. A big buffalo here, a big bull buffalo, like the one on the left. Nice big one. Where can you see a nice big one? Uh, where's the one that was... Oh, there he is. There he is, walking away. Where's the one that just got um, very fortunate with the female's attentions? There he is. That's that guy over there. So, a big buffalo bull could potentially reach up to around about 900 kilograms. A big wildebeest is not going to weigh that much. It's not going to weigh much over 200. So there is a very big difference. Um, both are grazers. A buffalo bulk grazers more than wildebeest are. They tend to target the longer strands of grass. 
Oh, I wonder if these buffalo are feeling nervous after an encounter with lions last night. I'm going to go and see if I can find where the Angama pride went. But while I do that, Tristan has got some interesting footprints in the sand. <laughs> 